Hey Trenton, it's Dr. Scott. I have some feedback for you on your film review draft. Um, just as a reminder, what I'm looking for in this assignment, I'm looking for the ability to revise. So there should be some pretty significant changes between this draft and the revision that's going to be due at the end of next weekend. I'm looking for you to support an argument. So are you able to use details from the film and examples from the reviews that we read to support what you think of the film? Um, I'm also looking at your ability to integrate a couple quotes from the film reviews that we read into your body paragraphs. And uh, paragraphing is another thing that I'm looking at. There's a few other minor criteria, but I'm going to focus on those uh, more important four criteria. So um, I, I think your essay is on the right path. Um, it's uh, I, I love how focused it is. It's not a requirement that every criteria have some kind of relationship with each other. You may not be able to sustain that for the rest of the review, but I like how you, um, you know, everything is kind of connected. Um, the way that you're using uh, music and the way that you're talking about music kind of is a thread throughout. I really like that. I think, I think it's awesome. Um, I think the introduction, this is a minor thing, but I think the introduction, you could maybe be a little bit more creative there. You could, Right, you know, you could begin with the first time you watched a zombie film, or the, the you know the the, uh, the scary the scariest film you've ever seen. What was it about that? You start with that, and then you kind of lead us into Night of the Living Dead, um, and then we're even more specific where you're going to talk about aspects of sound and music in that film. So it's kind of like this narrowing effect, um, but you can be a little bit more creative with the introduction, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, Love your ability to use detail in places um, like here. We get that interaction with Johnny and the goal. I think you do a really good job of that. Um, I think there are other places where more detail could be useful. Um, down in the second paragraph or second body paragraph, um, when Barbara escapes to her car, another suspenseful, creepy score is played as the ghoul starts to spring towards the car. This creates uneasiness. Before you kind of interpret what that sound was trying to do, I think actually kind of getting in there and explaining what that is, which is a little bit more difficult than using visual um, visual details or writing about visual details. Um, it's another kind of vocabulary when you're talking about music and sound. So I think you need to kind of get in there, you know, and, and describe what those sounds were like instead of just telling us that it's suspenseful and creepy. Show us and try to describe the sound itself. So I think that that's needed in more than just this location. I think you need to find a few other places that could use some some good detail um, and include that detail in your in your revision. So when we get to the you're using a quote, uh, I, I like how you set it up. I love the, the top of the quote sandwich, if you will. The uneasiness created in this film was not just felt by me, but also by various reviewers who have watched the film. Um, Rose, and you might tell us, give us his name. Um, you could hint at The Guardian what it is. Um, Rose, a, a writer, a staff writer for The Guardian newspaper in the United Kingdom, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I, I like that you're actually paying attention to this, and you do a good job of connecting what Rose is going to say to what you've already said, which is awesome. Where I think you could, um, I mean, I guess if I was to nitpick, I think that there should be a little bit more discussion going on afterwards about the quote. Um, the eeriness and dread that is talked about above is majorly brought on. I wasn't sure if the above is Rose's quote or the above is what you'd stated earlier in the paragraph. So I think being a little bit more specific there, and if you're not talking about Rose, I think you need to. Um, but other than that, I thought you did a decent job. Um, I'm not sure where you are in terms of like what else you might write about. I think you met the word requirement for the draft. Yeah, you more than met it. So, I mean, you've got maybe another solid paragraph to go. Um, I'm not a huge fan of conclusions for reviews. I, I don't think you need to sum everything up into a bow. Um, so you can leave off this paragraph if you wanted to. I think you need one or two more body paragraphs. And so I'm not sure if you have ideas of what that might be. But if you don't, uh, reach out and maybe we can talk about it. Maybe you talk about other ways that eeriness is developed in the film. Use of shadows. There's some cinematography stuff that I think you could argue that's going on. Um, I think you have options. I'm just not sure if you thought them through at this point. So 
Trenton, this essay is it's on its way. I think it's uh, it's doing a decent job. Paragraph development, not a problem here. Everything is kind of focused. Um, yeah, talking about the sound and music. I think there are maybe places in that paragraph where you're kind of veering away from the focus of the paragraph. Like, you know, you're talking about an easy contribution of sound and music to the film, but then we start getting into special effects. I think you you might be talking about sound and special effects there. Um, yeah, I think you do a decent job. So you're on the right path. I think that's what I'm trying to say. If you have questions about how to move forward and how to kind of flesh out the rest of the essay, let me know. Um, but that's, that's it for now. In the email that I send you with the link to the screencast, leave some information about when your revisions do. Um, again, any questions, let me know.